there's a magic inside of you. Blessings to all of you beautiful beings. It's Elena and I'm enchanted to have you be here on my channel. Hello and welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're new, consider liking, subscribing, becoming part of my little YouTube family. And if you've been here before, hello and welcome back to each and every one of you incredible, magnificent, and gorgeous souls right across the screen. Lots of love, lots of warm hugs, and hopefully you and yours are safe. On today's video, I am doing a Lunarly unboxing continuation with the episodes of these boxes. Now, I don't think I've posted an unboxing for these, for this brand in a while, but um, I'm going to keep going. I did receive the boxes, I just didn't do videos and post them. So this is for, I think the February moon? It's for the snow moon. And we have a candle this time around. So Lunarly is a monthly subscription box and it's based around the new moon. You get the box just a little bit before the new moon, sometimes about a week, sometimes a few days. I got it a day after the new moon, but that's okay. No big deal. There was a storm in my area and all that fun stuff. Um, Lunarly is based around veganism and taking care of yourself and setting intentions. And they alternate every other month you get a candle and every... How do I put that? They alternate. Each month you either get a candle or a plant and it goes in a pattern. So this is the candle month. Next month is going to be plant month. The month after that is going to be candle month. So on and so forth. Um, now I am not sponsored by this. Unfortunately, I did purchase this with my own money. But I've been a subscriber with them for a very, very long time. Um, so we receive this box. It's full of good amount of goodies. And then we have the candle. It's more loose in here than usual. I hope it's gonna be okay. No issues as of yet, but we'll take a look at that a little bit later. So with Lunarly, with each box, not only do you get like the main item, you also get a crystal and a couple other goodies to go alongside with it. One of the things that I like about them is that these little boxes have been consistent throughout the years that I've had them. So they have been pretty much a staple in like an organization way in my office. All right, with every box, you get a card with the imagery for the moon and we have the snow moon, yes. So snow moon is February 1st, first quarter February 8th, full moon February 16th, last quarter February 23rd. The back it says, the snow moon requires rest and presence of mind, allowing you to take time to recharge and reinvigorate your state of being. Remind yourself of the integral breaks in the universe and of the cleansing powers of snow and winter. An intention to inspire. Sit back and embrace the calm and quiet that come with this season. You'll feel refreshed and reborn. Unless you're in college. <laughs> with deeper insight and gratitude for the world around you. So here is the card. Then we have their information pamphlet that talks about all the goodies within here. That's going to be read last. And first I see wish paper. Hmm includes 10 wish papers. Interesting. It's a very fancy way to package up some wish papers. We're getting there. Something's happening. Okay, we have What is this? There's instructions. Let's take a look. History in the late 1960s, I purchased some cookies from an Italian baker. He showed me this trick. He told me to crumple up the cookie wrapper paper into a bowl, then re-roll it into a cylinder and place it on a plate. He lit it with a match, the paper burned to an ash, and the ash magnificently lifted skywards, twirled a few times, and then floated it down. He told me to make a wish and catch the ash. He told me my wish had come true. Interesting. So we have tissue paper. We have tissue paper. Um, that's a very unique and interesting item. I 
I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's definitely something interesting and definitely not something I have received before. But that'll, this will be fun to try. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know how to talk about something that I've never really received in a box or never really experienced myself, but we'll, we'll find out later. All right, then we have, ooh, something, something heavy. This is heavy. Good thing that's not an actual knife, otherwise I would have had way too many accidents. Very accident prone, unfortunately. It appears we have like a plate of some sort. It's stone, most likely. Either that or like a cement type of thing. But we have, um, I assume this is to like, use for candles and to help make a fire safe area that type of thing it's pretty cool i do like this i like the edges of it i like how it's kind of like how to put it old fashioned a little bit like you you have a slate of a rock that's, that's pretty cool we'll read about what kind of their intention for it is then we have ooh, a chakra satin spar wand uh with copper it appears to be satin spar selenite depends on how the translation goes but if you go by american or english translation this will be considered satin spar but for the majority this is usually sold as selenite if, if that makes sense so we have this very nice and pretty chakra wand. Copper is great to use for any sort of energy work or directing energy work. Um, I'm sure you know by now, or if not, I'm gonna tell you, that a lot of electricity, a lot of outlets, wirings, all that stuff that conduct power, like electricity power, is usually made with copper because copper is a really good conductor of electricity, conductor of energy. And because we as spiritual beings work with energy, copper is also a great way to work and conduct with energies. We also have, ooh, it's a little heavy. What do we have in here? We have a rock. We have a crystal. Hmm. Interesting. A nice raw piece. Potentially tiger's eye? I'm not sure. I'm not very good when the um, crystals are in a very, very raw formation. Particularly ones that kind of look similar throughout so we shall read about what this crystal is but i do like them in in raw forms they are pretty fun in raw forms although i can't i can't i can't give it a good guess so we shall find out later then that is it for inside this box oh. let's read about the goodies so we have wish paper um it says description focus on bringing your dreams into reality with an added dose of whimsy using these wish papers definitely a little bit of whimsy it'll be kind of fun watching things float around and you know writing down wishes and things like that but you can make a wish paper pretty much out of any paper or parchment and burn it it most likely won't do the floaty thing but you can use things as a napkin, things as tissue paper, or like those decorative papers. For instance, if you get a gift bag and you get the colorful papers inside, that's considered, that is tissue paper. So you, you can take that, cut it into squares and kind of use it, which I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Not a favorite item I received in box. Then we have a seven chakra selenite stick. Description that cleanse your mind and your aura with the healing and restorative powers of selenite. Satin spark. This multi-use stick encompasses all seven of your major chakras, practically ensuring a more well-rounded healing. 
Then it says instructions, use your selenite stick as you might use sage to release any emotional or situational negativity. Move the stick up and down your body to hit all of your chakras anytime you need to refocus your energy. Um, that's a great way to work with this wand. It'll be a wonderful way to work with this wand. Um, satin spar and or selenite both have very wonderful and cleansing properties. They are a very high vibration white light. They never need cleansing and they actually can cleanse other crystals or other, other things around them, which is a great way to kind of incorporate crystals with them because these will never need cleansing and they will constantly work with your energy, for example, to cleanse yourself and then, and then you can keep reusing this crystal over and over and over again. Continuing on, we have a blue tiger eye gemstone. It is a tiger's eye. It's a blue tiger's eye. But I, I'm I'm gonna give myself the credit. I'm I'm gonna pat myself on the back for it. I guessed mostly right. Anyways, this says description: embrace the power and the harshness of this winter season through the protective and confident blue tiger's eye gemstone. This stone is known to aid user during times of transition, helping you to manifest and visualize. Instructions: hold the stone before you meditate, practice to set intentions, and release any negativity. It is useful around your throat and third eye chakras, inspiring wisdom and intuition. It's also a really good grounding stone. Then we have the black slate burning tray. I know it was something fire resistant E4. Allow this slate burning tray to become a resting place for incense, wish papers, sage, or any other cleansing bundles or other incendiary, incendiary items releasing your furniture from the usual dusting of soot. If you have maybe a shorter incense stick or something like that, where if the incense stick is like sticking up straight up, because this doesn't, let me, let me put it on frame. This will be a really, really good kind of like a heat resistant place to start something or do something or work on something. For instance, if you want to put a bowl and like burn papers in it, that bowl heat won't exactly transfer to your table or something like that. But using it as something to kind of not make a dusting of soup, I don't think this is a very practical thing for it. Like it'll catch it and then if you move it then all that soot and dust and that type of stuff will fall off because it doesn't have any edges to contain it. It is very flat and in fact the edges kind of taper downward. So it's a really good like heat protective type of fireproof little area thing to use but you, if you use um, incense sticks or if you use like or bundles or anything like that for that type of cleansing which leaves soot behind or like ashes or you know some sort of little bit of a mess then this will be great to kind of burn it on but it won't exactly be great just containing all of it. I hope I'm making sense. Um, last but not least we have the candle. Let's give it a smell before I read it. I haven't seen it. Um, another thing that I love about them is that their candles design have been consistent, yes. And I love incorporating them into various things and reusing them because they're, they're pretty, they're black and purple and I like these colors. If you ever walk into like a Yankee candle, this is how the whole entire thing smells. It's kind of like a mix of everything, but like, sweet and kind of like a cookie and there's like a little bit of perfume it seems like all sort all the um types of smells like a little bit of perfumey a little bit of sweetness a little bit of like clove so you have that little bit of like bitterness it, it it seems like it's all wrapped up in one and it just reminds me of when you walk into yankee candle or any like big candle store it doesn't smell bad it does not smell bad. But it's very, very reminiscent of my previous shopping trips until I got, you know, candles delivered on a monthly basis, pretty much. So this candle has Nag Champa Hazelnut Clove. We have we have the slight perfuminess from the Nag Champa, we have the slight sweetness from Hazelnut, and then we have the little bit of spiciness from Clove. There it is. Um, Nag Champa's for relaxation and optimism, hazelnut for peace and comfort, clove for patience and perseverance. Then it says, cozy up 
to the comfortable aroma of hazelnut, clove, and nag champa, an exotic Indian fragrance with notes of sandalwood. This rich scent encourages you to take a moment for yourself offering a warm and invigorating pocket of peace within the cold of the moon. Yes, it does smell like very, very warm. It, I, I like the smell. I don't, don't get me wrong. I do like the smell, but I'm just trying to describe what the smell smells like it, since we don't have, you know, smell of vision Anyways, so this is it for this month's box. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, the whole shebang. We have tons of magical fun here. And if you made it all the way to the end, let's do a little candle emoji down in the comments section below just to let me know that you are still here. And with that, I shall see you on the next video. Love you all. Bye.